Hey, what's up guys? Lucas here and welcome to another video. Today I'm gonna share with you how you can turn your iPad into the ultimate display tablet for your PC or Mac with a little app called Astropath Studio. So this app, Astropath Studio, it's actually an app that I heard of years ago when I got my first iPad, this 2017 iPad Pro. It was an app that would allow you to connect and use your iPad as a tablet, as a display tablet, let's say like a Wacom Cintiq, with your Mac. Problem was, the thing was just available for Mac and I didn't have a Mac and I didn't want to spend thousands of dollars buying myself a Mac just for that feature. And it was not until recently that I heard that this app was now available for Windows, which is the one that I have, it's my computer right here. I have a desktop computer, a PC, and it's the one that I use for most of my work. So I had to give it a try. And I wanted to share with you guys because what I found out is that it's actually fantastic. All right, so let me show you how you set this thing up. So you download the app, you can just go into the website, download the app. And once you double click it, it's gonna ask you to install just a couple of drivers and stuff like that. Once it finishes, it asks you to also install it right here on the iPad. You go in here, you just tap on the app. And once both of them are open, it's just gonna recognize that both are connected to the same Wi Fi. And this is right now, you know, like no cables connected or anything. And, and that's it, they're connected. I'm seeing my computer in the iPad. Now it really depends, it looks like it depends on the speed of your internet and the speed of your router, how well it behaves with Wi-Fi. So when I was just moving it around with this, I actually noticed that it was a bit uncomfortable for me to draw with my slow internet, but that's why I decided to just connect it and and this is just, you know, a small USB cable. And once I plug it in, then it behaves much, much, much faster. Something that you would notice is, of course, where is my menu bar and everything here? The reason is because I'm not projecting all the screen in here. You have to choose how much of your screen you want to project. And in this case, I can put full screen, but this is what's gonna happen, you see? I have these big bars above and below my screen, and that's just because my screen, my display is longer than the screen of my iPad. So the only thing that you have to do in here is go in there, right click and click display settings and just change the resolution. And there you go. Now I can use it for everything. Like it's not only for Photoshop or painting softwares. You can literally use this thing as your computer right now. You can just type in here, whatever you want. And let's just come in here and open Photoshop back again. Using the keyboard is one of the reasons why I like using this tool because I am just faster with the shortcuts in the keyboard. But if you're the type of person that doesn't like to, you know, have your left hand all the way up there using a keyboard and you want to use this, I don't know, sitting on the couch or something while it is connected to your computer, then easy peasy. The only thing that you have to do is customize these buttons. You notice that all around this screen is um, Photoshop normally except this red dot that I have in here. This one is the only UI that this little app has. So once I just tap on it, it's gonna open several options. One of the options is workspace, which is uh, where you would like to go. For example, if you would like to use the app without a keyboard, I would tap in here and it would give me several options here on the left. You have here undo, redo, brush eraser, uh, size of the brush, zoom in and zoom out. So it's gonna be very easy. Like I just press in this thing and automatically it, it really, does it? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why I'm surprised. I mean, the app is supposed to do these things, but I guess the smoothness of it is the thing that, that impresses me. Like if I come and I just select the brush, it actually selects the brush. If I select the razor, it actually selects the razor. Again, I don't know. I don't know why I'm surprised. I know I understand that this is what the app is supposed to do, but still, I don't know. It does it in a very smooth way. Oh, and I didn't even tell you about the gestures. If you would like, like I, I for example, I have a, a, a Wacom Cintiq, and that is what I use normally to paint here on the computer. But that thing is, I don't know, something crazy, like $2,500 or something like that, $3,000. And that is the non-touch option. That means I cannot do this on the Cintiq. It's 3000 bucks and I cannot zoom in and zoom out with my fingers. This app allows you to use the gestures from the iPad. That means if I come here and I rotate 
this thing actually rotates. If I pinch in and out, this thing actually zooms in and out. And another beautiful thing, if you are a fan of Procreate and the, and the shortcuts of Procreate, you're gonna like this. You can draw, use two fingers to control Z and three fingers to control Y to redo and undo. Other little things in here, for example, you have some nice magic gestures. For example, something that I really like is this one, the tap plus eraser, check it out. And let's say I'm painting. If I want to erase, I can hold down with one finger and erase. And look at that, it's just as easy as that. I continue drawing and now I'm erasing and drawing and now I'm erasing. Pretty neat, right? So that is one. Another one very nice is with two fingers. You press with two fingers and then you tap. It's gonna give you the right click. So if you're the type of artist that prefers to, for example, change the size of your brush in here, it's gonna be super easy. You just come in here, two fingers press. That's your right click. Draw, draw, draw. One finger press. It's eraser, two fingers press. Boom. All right, so now let's give it a try. I'm gonna draw something for you guys so you can see Astrobat Studio in action and, and see how it moves, okay? And there you go, guys. Here is the final drawing, the final test of Astrobat Studio. And I have to again insist it, the, the line feels amazing. It's really, really smooth. And I'm actually really surprised by what this app can do. So, so really very much recommend it. Uh, by the way, all of this painting was done with my brushes, mostly with the LP brush pen that comes with my pack of LP brushes that you can find in the link in the description. So if you want to support this channel and support me, you are very much uh, welcome to go and check those out, okay? They are compatible with Photoshop, with Procreate, with Art Studio Pro and with Clip Studio Paint. So yes, if you are an artist that has a PC, has an iPad and maybe doesn't have a, a display tablet, then this is an app that I think I would consider. At least I wanted to share it with you guys because I'm just trying it out here. I'm just trying trial version of this app and I am loving what it does. And it is something that I would have loved to know that it was out there before maybe I got myself a very, very expensive display tablet. So I'm just gonna leave the link of the app of Astropath Studio on the description if you want to check them out. And that's it. Thank you very much for watching this video till the end and I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye.